Doug McDermott to the Philadelphia 76ers. Dougie McBuckets to the Philadelphia 76ers. I like the sound of that. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Philly Talk with MK, it's your boy MK. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so when I upload and go live, you'll be instantly notified. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram down below in the description. If you're not following me on Twitter, you're really missing out. And add me on Snapchat at Cost 18 for all behind the YouTube scenes. Dog make buckets to the Philadelphia 76ers? That's a mask made in heaven. According to Evan Massey, a reliable source, he, he is verified, so you know it's official. Per source, Philadelphia 76ers are looking to pursue Doug McBuckets in free agency. Now, I know that Daryl Morey has a lot on his plate like, right now, especially about Ben Simmons and that whole trade debacle and everything. But we need to talk about the bench, guys, because think about it right now. How good or how bad is our bench? Our bench is pretty pathetic. Might I add, because we don't have any like certified scorers off the bench. We don't have a three point sniper who averages 40% from three for his career. And guys, he's 29 years old. He's been on a couple teams here and there. And he's just a sniper and a scorer because he's averaging like nine or 10 points per game for his career. And last year alone, for the Pacers, he averaged 13 points per game. That is unbelievable. That's what we need for our bench. Because you can't look at this camera, look at me, and tell me that our bench has a pure score three-point shooter. Sig Milton? No. Tyrese Maxey? He is a scorer, but he's not a three-point shooter. Furkan Korkmaz? Nope. Not at all. Nope. And I love Korkmaz, guys. I freaking love Furkan Korkmaz. But when it comes to getting a guy like Doug McBuckus, who's like a certified veteran, and he can find his role perfectly, that is the guy we need on our roster. Make it happen, Daryl. Make it happen. Because our bench is weak. And I know our front court for the bench is not as good. But we need shooters more importantly to go alongside Joel Embiid. Because think about it, guys. When Joel Embiid is in the paint and all the shooters are around him, that is deadly, guys. Can you imagine if we had, like, a Seth Curry and Doug McBuckets on the outside? That will be lethal. That's music to my ears right there, guys. That is music to my ears. Now, I've been a fan of Doug McBuckets for years now. Ever since Creighton, and I studied his shooting perfectly, like perfectly. And this guy is a perfect, beautiful shooter. His free throw, his uh, shooting stance, his shooting follow through, beautiful, is in rhythm. I freaking love it, guys. I freaking love it. And once you're a shooter, you can last in this league for like years. Look at Vince Carter. He changes, and he lasts in the league for 20 years. Dirk Nowitzki, he lasts in the league for like 20 years or so. And you and Doug McBuckets can be that for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a perfect role player for our team. And I am really looking forward to this, guys. Now, for the defensive side, he's not that good. I mean, he's liable on defense. I mean, come on. He can't be worse than Furkan Korkmaz off the bench. He cannot with that defense. I'm telling you. Uh, Doug McBuckets can hold his ground better than Furkan Korkmaz on defense. It's just facts, guys. It's just facts. And once we do get, or if we get Doug McBuckets, I trust Daryl Morey to get more defenders for our team, for our Sixers. So I'm not worried about his defense. I'm just talking about his shooting. It's in rhythm. He can put up like 10 or 20 points at night when we need to. He can step up. And our team did not step up in the playoffs at all. Especially against the Hawks in Game 5 and against Game 7. Like, they did not step up at all. So, Doug McBuckets will be perfect for the Philadelphia 76ers, in my opinion. Please let me know in the comments below how do you guys feel about Doug McBuckets, Doug McDermott, to join 
the Philadelphia 76ers. Let me know in the comments below. All right, subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, add me on Snapchat at Kashi18 for all behind the YouTube scenes. And yeah, MK out.